I got no respect for a corporate check. It gets played out like my old cassettes. Got open bets and no lower debts. I'm getting sick of it. Man, I hope I'm next. I hope I stretch this hundred dollars. A hundred comments on my hundred proms. I don't gloat. I stress. Gotta grow my product. Hope in a year it impress my mama. When the pressure on, you gotta work. Even when the shit gon' hurt. This rap career's on my nerves Cause I know exactly what I'm worth And it's more than this I hope the Lord assists Cause I'm so persistent But I'm over this A rap vocalist Man, the hopelessness Should've kept my distance Heart torn to bits But I'm born for this I'm never giving in Turn a hundred Lincolns Into Benjamins Turn my pencil strokes Into dividends With a little bit of happiness Sprinkled in Long days Even longer nights If it's a big reward It's gonna cost a price When my song plays Stay on your grind Till it's payday Keep it on your mind Alright guys, so welcome back to the convo. This is RDR. I'm with Bag of Tricks Cat. Bag of Tricks Cat, and of course we have Milo in the house. Um, very, very busy man. We were playing <laughs> phone tag. Um, you obviously get a lot of messages, a lot yeah. of calls, yeah. a lot of people saying, "Hey, come, what's up?" Yeah. Hey, <laughs> how many how many messages do you think you get like in a given month? people oh, just man. wanted to like reach out to you um well between booking shows and uh, with respect to underground and um you know people who want to personally reach out to me um i'd say you know well over a hundred plus yeah. a month yeah staying busy well i'm glad we finally got you on the show i'm sorry i was like I was, <laughs> I, am i gonna see you today yes or no yeah yeah, like, yeah. yeah i'm here man I and i appreciate I was, you having me no no thank you for coming mm -hmm. i appreciate it uh i know the drive wasn't fun it's uh, okay it's all good man uh, I, dr I drive out to to the east side all the time okay. for those of you guys uh who are maybe not from this state it's hot as balls out here we are in phoenix arizona and it's almost eight and it's a hundred and what ten yeah it's over a hundred degrees and the sun is going down so uh fuck. so the other night it was 111 degrees at midnight fuck that you know <laughs> so for you guys who are watching this that are not from phoenix that are thinking about visiting wait till the summer's over and uh <laughs> yeah and you can come up come uh, in the fall come to the arizona hip-hop festival yeah yeah definitely <laughs> You have a lot of things going on that are tagged as Respect the Underground, right? Yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know, what is Respect the Underground? Um, Respect the Underground is a couple things. Um, it's a platform for independent artists and underground hip-hop artists, um, even R&B and just urban music in general, um, to where you can perform. Um, we have our own radio station um, called Icon Radio which is going to be launching pretty soon. Um, Do you know when that's going to? Uh, probably here within the next month. Okay. Uh, online radio, podcast? Yeah, it'll okay. be online radio. Okay, cool, mm -hmm. cool. And then, um, you know, we book a lot of shows, um, and then we're we're known for the Arizona Hip Hop Festival, um, which is an all-local um, hip-hop festival in Arizona um, at Comerica Theater, which is one of the stadium-sized uh, venues out here. Um, and we also um, are the company behind bringing Hip Hop Day. So Arizona has its own holiday. Um, what day is that? It's going to be on November 19th, oh, the November day 19th. of the festival. Um, right. And Mayor Stanton, um, the Phoenix mayor, will be at the festival making a proclamation then. So, um, so shout out to the mayor, dude. For shout you, out man. to Mayor Stanton, man. You the man. We appreciate you. Um, um, so hashtag Hip Hop Day. Is hashtag Hip Hop Day. Ooh, and that is November 19th? November 19th. Also going to be the third annual Hip Hop Festival as well at Comerica Theater. Right? Yes, yes, sir. Um, where can we get all the details on that? Is there a website? Um, I, you could go on the Arizona Hip Hop Festival website, okay. um, azhiphopfestival.com. Um, we haven't updated it yet. We just made the announcement of the date and the holiday. Um, so just stay tuned. Um, I'm sure you'll see it online. And if you log on the website, you'll definitely see it. Okay. Um, and um, then Respect the Underground is also a label. That's what I was. So yeah. it's a label. Um, what's your role in the label? Um, well, Justice is CEO of uh, Respect the Underground. Okay. Um, I guess you could say my role is kind of like a, a president or a vice president. Okay. Um, a label at least And um, I'm also an artist right. I'm also signed to the label Okay so. How does that work Being like um, Being on the business side And then being on You know what It it has its its ups and its downs um, The plus side of it is You know I, I can see and understand The whole spectrum 
of you know what it's like to be behind the scenes and what it's like to be you know in front of the cameras and and on the records um sometimes being behind the scenes gets in the way of my creativity and sometimes my creativity gets in the way of being behind the scenes so it's it, you got to balance it and you know so far so good I've, yeah. I've been able to to balance it pretty well okay so just the balance of yeah the business and the creative side right a lot of artists they treat it as like just creative or just business or just a hobby or just this like do you feel like it's become more for you yeah it's it's definitely both mm-hmm. um simply because um i mean i don't work a regular nine to five this is how i pay my bills right. nowadays um and it has been for over a year now um i took that leap and sometimes it's tough sometimes it's great right um but when when you meet at that crossroads, it's hard for artists to really balance mm-hmm. and and get their priorities straight. Right. Um, and sometimes you'll see artists that that take that leap and, and do it, and then a couple months later they end up having to, you know what I'm saying, go get a regular job go again back to regular job, and yeah. stuff because something happens. So you definitely have to have a lot of foresight. Hindsight doesn't really doesn't really work with it. Right. So just keeping your eyes down the road yeah what's gonna happen like right now road. it's uh what what month is it <laughs> we're in june, june and and my head is in that's how fucking busy he is i don't even know what fucking <laughs> month we're in <laughs> my head is in november and, and december the festival you know what i'm saying sure i i know well. i know what's gonna happen month by month okay all the way up until then after then i don't know yet you know what i'm saying i have an idea but i don't know but as of right now i know exactly what i'm doing between now and then I call it stacking your ammo. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, a lot of times you'll see an artist that has a dope record. Right. Um, and then they drop this dope record, and they don't have any other bullets in the chamber. Okay. You know, and now they just drop this record, and now it's going to take them a couple months to, to get another one, and their buzz and momentum has already died down by the time they release their So their you're saying just record. have, like, a back catalog. Yeah, have okay. stack your ammo. Right. You know what I'm saying? Have I'm more like bullets that. in the chamber. That's a big move uh, for you guys to have become a label. I'm sure that took a lot of work. Uh, yeah, it took some time. What's like? What would you say is the main thing in becoming a label? I know there's a lot of people out there who want to start a label. Yeah. Um, what would you say is like the main priority when becoming a label? When going from just a brand to a label? Um, having a formula and a game plan is is very important. A game so- plan, but like a business plan. Yeah, but a, a game plan in the sense too of how you're gonna release um, this artist content, and as well as do things for the artists they necessarily can do themselves. Okay. So I mean, respect the underground provides certain services and that that the artists couldn't do themselves. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, or at least can't at this stage of the game. Um, so it, you definitely have to have that figured out because what's the point in in running a label if the people that you're signing could do everything that you're right. doing for them by themselves right so just just a marketing scheme basically uh, uh yeah marketing and 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 also just business in general um mm-hmm. you know it's very important right. Right. personally i don't have a manager like that right um i have I have OGs, you know okay, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. That that if I have a question or I'm unsure about something, I say, hey, what do you think I should do? And I get their collective opinions and, and I, you know, make my own decision. I had two managers in my career. Uh-huh. Uh, the first manager uh, was an idiot. <laughs> uh, the second manager was a moron. Right. A good manager is somebody who is going to care about your brand and your music just as much or more than you. And okay. it's going and it's going to send emails to blogs and websites and try to get your music placed. It's going to send emails to DJs and go to the club and shake hands with DJs and get your record in the club. A manager is going to contact out-of-state promoters and venues and try to book you out-of-state and and get the ball rolling. It's going to try to get you some money and get you paid right. for for your services as a as an artist. Phoenix Times nine best hip hop projects of 2016, <laughs> and you hit the scoreboard at number five. I mean, for you to even hit that list was awesome. I, I think that's a that's definitely well deserved. How did that make you feel when you, it came out June, right? Beginning yeah, of June. Yeah, it, uh, the album came out at the end of May. But uh, that that particular 
Yeah, the, uh, the particular article came out, I believe, even last week. Okay. Um, and, I mean, it's humbling, man. Yeah. Um, I remember when I was first starting out being, you know, in the Phoenix New Times and, and being on the radio and opening up for so-and-so or going on a tour seemed like impossible. Seemed like right. it, it was just something that you couldn't do. Mm-hmm. And so to have, you know, the New Times um, recognize my project, which I put so much into, so much money and time into, yeah. um, to, for them to say, yo, this is one of the best hip-hop albums. And that was the album Cat Out of the Bag, right? Cat's Out the Bag. Cat's yep. Out the Bag, excuse me. Yep. Uh, where can we find your music? If someone right now wanted to check out your music, where would be the first place you would send them to? Um, the best place for me as an artist is if you go on bagoftrickscat.bandcamp.com. Um, but if you want to stream it and you don't want to buy my album <laughs> or you can't afford to buy my album because it's, you know, five or ten bucks. You cheap um, motherfuckers. Five, you, ten dollars? Come on. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you could you could stream it anywhere on Spotify, Apple Music, and you okay. could give me a third of a cent for every time you press play. A third of a cent. That's how much she's getting paid. You know, um, if you're a SoundCloud cat or wherever, it, it's really easy to find me. You just have to type in bag of tricks cat on Google or Facebook or anywhere, and I guarantee I'll be the only cat that comes up. Bag of tricks cat. Uh, obviously, you guys know. The link is somewhere here on this bottom area. Um, I uh, really want to promote this album and make sure that, you know, people who haven't heard it, hear it. Right. Um, because even though, you know, a lot of people have heard it, uh, especially a lot of people in Arizona, um, there's 8 billion people on the planet Earth. And I truly believe that this is the best project and best body of work that I've done to this date. To this day. Okay. And I want to make sure that everybody that i can possibly get to hear it hears it top three tips top three tips oh man well the first tip is treat it like a business Mm -hmm. um if you expect to make music your career then treat it like it's a business you know what i'm saying you can still be creative and still you know not compromise your art and treat it like a business if if you were to open up a mom and pop restaurant You know what I'm saying? That's easily going to cost you a hundred grand, you know, to lease a space, to get all the equipment, to get all the cooking, to get your liquor license or, or, you know, even to sell beer, get your logo, your menus, all that stuff, the food, the staff. So for a small mom and pop business like that, it's going to cost you a hundred grand to just start up, to open your doors. You want to pursue music. And this is considered one of the hardest career paths you could go down. So what makes you think it's going to cost any less than that? Number two, um, it goes back to what we were talking about earlier. Stack your ammo. Mm -hmm. So if you got a dope song that you just recorded at the studio, you just laid it down. You don't got to release it that night. You don't got to release it the next day. You don't got to release it that week. Release it when it's right. Release it when you're ready to release it. When you got a dope single cover when you got a music video shot that you're going to release after, when you got some bread that you could put up on marketing, wait to release it. Don't rush it. You know what I'm saying? Artists get excited because they got this dope record and, and they, they want to share it. it. Right. And they end up shooting themselves in the foot. Number three. Oh, man, this is tough. How about we say remain humble hmm. because... And this is a a big problem in the underground industry and and local artists is artists mistake doing cool things as making it. And you can't allow that to happen. Because you opened up for so-and-so, you didn't make it. Because you made this much money from a show, you didn't make it. Because you got so-and-so on a song, you didn't make it. I haven't made it. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like, don't mistake cool things for making it remain humble man and and you know what i'm saying don't look down on on any of your peers you know they eat shit and breathe just like you so to all the people that are watching this that know me but don't know the convo subscribe on youtube like the page leave a comment 
you know what I'm saying? Say what's up and, and be on the lookout for more um, interviews with artists and seeing all sides and all angles of this crazy game that we're part of called Music. Sam. Stay yeah. tuned to the convo. And um, if you haven't bought the album, please buy the album so I can pay my bills this month. <laughs> <laughs> buy the fucking album. Don't go on Spotify and get a third. That's what it is. A third, a right? Third, a third of a Sam no, per no, stream. No, 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 no. Go and buy the CD. How much is the CD right now? Uh, $10. $10. It's dude. at Zia Records. You don't even have to hit me up. You can Zia go to Records. Zia Records and, and go pick it's it up. It's at Zia Records right now, guys. It's Definitely go check it out. Go get it. It's probably nine ninety nine. It is nine ninety nine. It's nine ninety nine. And if you got some Zia points, you won't even have to pay that. Zia points. You know, I stack up my Zia points. And if you like me, you got Zia points, and you could get that album for five dollars at Zia if you really want to. That, I get it. Why you said five to ten dollars? Right. So if you're the people who have been buying CDs and buy CDs, then it's gonna cost about five bucks at Zia. If you are like me, who usually buys them on iTunes or downloads them or whatever, you're gonna pay. 999 plus tax. <laughs> no, there's actually no tax. No tax. On Bandcamp, it's just ten dollars straight. Ten dollars. Guys, go and support music. Go and support <laughs> AZ Hip Hop. Go and support Felix the Hat. The cat. Excuse Felix me. the hat. Felix the cat. <laughs> Felix the hat. Felix the cat and the hat. Felix the cat. He's got a pretty sick hat. Um <laughs> If you ever have an extra hat, I'd love to buy one off you. Sure. I'll wear it. I'll wear it on the show. Um, all right. So we're going to go ahead and end the show here. Again, I appreciate you for being here. Yeah, no problem, um, man. Thanks so much for tuning into the convo, guys. Stay tuned. Next week, we have some another show. Uh, we're out. Peace. <laughs>